Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we will be visiting a house where Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam was born. It's close to gate 91 and King Abdul Aziz gate. And you can see the ramp over here. We're going to be walking on that ramp. And it will take us towards the house where Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam was born. Okay, so we are walking on the ramp that I showed you earlier and over here we'll be making a right turn which will lead us toward our destination. Another point for you to remember is that this is the place from where you exit when you are done with Umrah so we'll be walking towards the right side and if for some reason you are lost you can easily ask any worker over here They're where the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu house is where he was born can see the house is right across from the Haram area so over here you can see the house and over here is Masjid al Haram it's going to be the whole time so we decided to stay over here for the prayer and once we are done with the prayer inshallah we will continue our visit toward the house where Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam was born. Allah.
Okay, so we finished the Zohar Namaz and now we are here. This is the house where Prophet Muhammad was born and he lived over here throughout the time he stayed in Mecca. Now they had made this into a library and it's not open for public but some of the scholars can come in here and study the books that are in that library. They have some of the old books over here as well. So the house is about 500 meters away from Kaaba. So this is Masjid al-Haram and Kaaba is about 500 meters away from this house where Prophet Muhammad Wasallam spent his life. This house where Prophet Muhammad was born and they converted into our library about 70 years ago. That thing, that's like around 1951. And a lot of people come over here as a, for ziyarat. And let me show you some of the pictures of the library from inside as it's not open for public. So these are some of the pictures. That's how the library looks from inside. And the scholars are allowed to come in and study the books that they have over here. Let's go around on this side. And on this side of the house, they mention some of the mistakes that people make. Which is true, because Masjid al-Haram is on this side, they should face toward the Kaaba and do nafal instead of doing it toward this building. We understand that our Prophet Muhammad wasallam was born in this house, but even him, he did not face toward his house for prayer, he faced toward the Kaaba. And some people write on the buildings, write their prayers on it. And over here in an example, they hold on to it and then they pray. Let's see if we can go around on the this side. Because earlier when I came it wasn't that crowded, but now it's getting very crowded. And the security is asking people to step out from here. So again over here they're telling people not to pray or make dua toward this building. They should pray and Kaaba and face on that side and make dua. So we're just literally going around the house. Here's an example that I was trying to show. So people write their name over here. I don't understand what's the I know with that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that we are here. So we don't need to leave any proof over here that we came in this area, that we visited this house. Because Allah knows all. So right now I'm just going around the house which they have converted into a library. There's something that I don't really agree the way security handle things but then there are other things which I completely agree with them. So right now you can see it's not very crowded because the security removed all the people from here. <coughs> On this side you can scan this QR code and you can get the information about this library. It's available in Farsi, Francis, Urdu, English and Arabic. I think I should get out from here too before they 
tell me to come out this is the main entrance and again they have converted into a library and it says established in 1300s it would be really nice if they can let people go in but then as you can see that it gets very crowded just outside the house so imagine how it would be inside here are some more pictures of inside the library and I just wanted to show you another thing on this side it used to be Abu Jahil's home that is a bathroom right now so they have converted into bathrooms he was non-muslim and he used to bother Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. and his house ended up being bathrooms for people to use and Alhamdulillah, our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam house is converted into a library where people can come and study the books and read Quran. But it's limited to the scholars only. I hope you enjoyed this video. Inshallah, we will be visiting some more Ziyarah. And I will be showing that around as well. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.